Perl provides an easy way to sort uh, values in an array or in a list. So if you have a list of these uh, strings, foo, mu, and bar, and you assign it to an array, let's say, words, you can call the sort function and it will return you the words in a sorted order. Bar, foo, and mu in this case. Because it sorts uh, according to uh, the ASCII table, so B comes before F and it comes before M. If you take a bunch of numbers uh, in this array data and sort them, you will get back this list of the numbers. So there's the same numbers, but you might be surprised that 12 comes before 2. The reason it, it is this way is because Perl again sorts according to the ASCII table and it compares values according uh, as if they were strings. So when it compares 12 to 2, it compares actually the first character 1 to the first character here 2, which uh, and in which case 1 is comes before 2, so it dis even disregards this, uh, this 2. The same when it compares to 11 to 2, so they come before the 2. So that's probably not what, what you want when you are sorting numbers. Probably you would like to sort them with their numerical uh, value, according to their numerical value. Perl doesn't have a, a special function for that, but Perl allows you to define a sort of sorting function. So there is this, there's sort itself that does bubble sort or quick sort or, or doesn't really matter for us in, in, the, in, in this case what kind of sort. In, in the end what, it ha what happens is that it takes in some order every two values from this array and then plugs them in into two very two default variables called $a and $b and then com executes some, some compersion and the result based on the result either keeps the order of these two values or swaps them so the the default uh, the way it's written out fully is this so between the sort word sort keyword and the array itself that you're sorting you can put a block in which you are using the dollar a and the dollar b and using the cmp operator which is a compare operator which compares the two sides as strings and returns one if the left hand side the dollar a sorry the left hand side needs to be ahead so this is the the smaller in some uh, meaning in in ASCII it's actually in uh, compared as ASCII uh, strings uh, minus one if the b uh, should be first and zero if they are the same strings so that's what compare does and what sort is expecting is that this block will return either one if the order is correct uh, minus one if the order of the two values is incorrect so they have to be swapped and zero if the two values are the same now what you see here is actually the fully written out version of the same thing that you saw here. So normally you wouldn't write this. I'm just writing it so it will be uh, relatively easy to go to the next step when you're replacing the CMP operator with dip this operator which is called the spaceship operator. You know this is the I think this is the Y wings uh, before uh, attacking or something. Anyway uh, so this operator is um, is, is similar to the CMP except that it compares the two values as numbers so it will return one if dollar a is smaller it will return minus one if dollar b is smaller and will return zero if the two numbers are equal so using this operator sorting the array now we already got the order the numbers in in the correct order as we were expecting according to their numerical values the same tool, the same uh, uh, sorting function, or the same idea of the sorting function, can be also used to do all kinds of different sortings. For example, here is, a, here is a, an example of sorting data, doesn't really matter what kind of data, according to the lengths of the, uh, of the strings in it. So uh, assume that in data there are, are some, some strings, well in our case these are the numbers, but you could use it with the words or any any kind of data and then you would like to sort them according to their lengths the shorter ones first and the longer ones later so the way you do it is that when you're comparing for the compersion you compute the lengths of each side 
and then compare that as numbers. So when you get uh, when it when the sort needs to decide about two values, which one comes first, it will compute the lengths of each of them, and then return this block will return one if the dollar a was shorter, minus one if dollar b was shorter, and zero if the two strings were at the same length. And you will get here the list of the values according to their lengths, which might be useful, but you know, there, that means that all the words, like say all the words that are four letter long, will be mixed up. You don't have any order in there. I even it will probably depend, so even if you run the sort twice, the result might be different based on how the data was in the input. So that's not something usually people like uh, in, in a sorted um, list of values. They, they like that it's really, really sorted and, and no matter how the input looks like, the output is always the same. That's usually why they do some sorting. So they would like, so we would like to have it sorted and when, so first the earlier the shorter strings and later the longer ones, but you would like to have that within the same length I would like to have uh, an ASCII order, so the same order as we had here at the beginning, sorted by ASCII table. And for that, you can use this block. Now, if I go just one more further here, here is the data, okay? So this is the block, the sort block, and within there, there is this Boolean expression. Lengths, comparing the lengths, or comparing them as uh, ASCII. So how does this work? When you get two values, when the sort gets two values, you don't get it. When the sort gets two values out of this uh, array, it first compares them according to their lengths. If according to their lengths, one of them is shorter, meaning this is either one or minus one, then this is the return value of, the, of this block. So this is what the sort function gets, because the or, you remember, that's short, cir short circuits. So if this is 1 or minus 1, that's a true value for the OR. But f So that's the result of, of this execution. On the other hand, if the two strings are the same length, meaning this expression will return 0, then the Boolean expression needs to, to, needs to still execute the, lower, the, other, the second part, because 0, meaning false, doesn't actually, doesn't let tell us what the full, what, what the result, what the end result of this whole block will be. So when the two strings are the same, the OR still executes this one, and then this will give the actual result of OR compersion, because, and that will work uh, according to the ASCII table. And this can return then either 1 or minus 1, depending which one is ahead within the ASCII table, or 0 if they are really, really the same string. So this block, allow, it, this block sorts the original string first according to their lengths, and within the same lengths, it sorts according to the ASCII table. And I think this is the la this is uh, well, it's not the last example, but the last interesting one is when we are sorting the data according to their lowercase version. This is what normally you would call the alphabetical order, because n in ASCII the lowercase and the uppercase letters are separate set. So if you're mixing them uh, in a string, then uh, they will be separated. In real uh, 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 alphabetical order, capital A and lowercase a are the same. So that's why, or almost the same. So that's why when you, when we you try to sort something according to the alphabetical order, that one way is just to turn every string to the lowercase version for the compersion.